Hello, you gorgeous people. Mr. Oliver here. The Naked Chef was 20 years ago. I was a much younger boy. I've still got the shirt. Um, so <laughs> today I'm going to make one of the recipes that you told me you wanted me to cook. It's a really good meatball recipe. Like in the old days of The Naked Chef, I might get asked a few questions. Um, by my lovely sidekick, Maddie. Um, in the old days, it was my director producer, Pat Llewellyn, who was um, an industry master at finding talent and making cooking shows. Sadly, she's no longer with us, but she was amazing. Let's do these meatballs. I've got 900 grams of meat. It's really nice to mix pork and beef. So first up, in a pestle and mortar, a generous amount of pepper, really good pinch of salt. The secret ingredient was half a teaspoon of cumin. Just half a teaspoon, you'll never quite pick up, but the depth of flavour, the savouriness, is going to make these meatballs the very best. That's why people went crazy about these meatballs. So a little half teaspoon of chilli to have that kind of hum. And then a little dried oregano. Why didn't you look at the camera in The Naked Chef? This is rosemary, by the way, a couple of sprigs. When I first started The Naked Chef, program one, I was looking at camera, not off camera, and I was rubbish. So we secretly kind of put it in the bin. And then what's nice is when things go wrong and people are vulnerable, they start to maybe get a bit more creative. So that's when they started allowing me to use the cine film to sort of do the shopping sequences. And that's when I looked from camera to off camera because I was nervous. So then, then I'm looking at you and I'm telling you, not the world. So then I was able to sort of just disarm a bit and relax and we were a bit more chatty. Um, and then they would cut the music from my record collection into the programme. So from that massive failure, just, we just got a better show and it worked really well, I think. So look, pound that up. It smells amazing. So that goes in to the mincemeat and then I'm gonna add two slices of breadcrumbs. And then what I've done, and I gave it to you in the recipe book as an optional, just fry off onions in a little olive oil and uh, add a little bit of Dijon mustard. This gives you kind of almost like a meatloafy meatball. So we'll just mix that up and then you can roll it into whatever size balls you like. Now the trick and the tip, because that's what the Naked Chef was all about, it was about getting cooking, having a go. The tip here was to use a little bit of water, at wet hands. While you're rolling, you get nice shiny perfect balls. When you were filming The Naked Chef, is it true you only used one camera? Yeah, now guys, we use at least two cameras, but in The Naked Chef, we only had one camera. They had to do each recipe three times. So you'd spend a whole day doing one recipe. The poor cameraman was trying to keep up with me and I'm moving around and I'm sort of doing this and the, the camera's kind of doing that and the camera's trying to keep up with me. And like, one of the things I probably would have said 20 years ago was like, if you want to stuff these balls, you can. So just put your thumb in the middle like that and then you could put like a little kind of nugget of mozzarella in and then enclose it. So when you eat your balls, whoa, there's this oozy, nice cheese inside. I would have said something like that. I would have said the word pucker quite a lot. Why did you say that word so much? Um, the word pucker kind of became quite connected to me and it was just part of our culture as teenagers. It was like, yeah, pucker, mate. That's pucker, the real deal, authentic. Let me wash my hands. So look, while I'm yapping, I've actually been ignoring my balls. And we're gonna go in with a really nice tomato sauce. Turn the heat down and we'll just start to simmer. So just mix these around. But this was the food that I was cooking at home as a sort of, you know, 22 year old. Okay, in here, I'm gonna put Parmesan and then I'm gonna put some mozzarella. Now, it was not that common to get Parmesan that was fresh in supermarkets. It was not that common to get sun-dried tomatoes. It was not that common to get balsamic vinegar. A lot has changed in 20 years. I remember when I sort of used a little nutmeg on a bolognese once and the whole country sold out of nutmeg. There was no nutmeg left in any supermarkets. <laughs> Have a little look in here. I've put the mozzarella on top of the meatballs. I became famous for using the olive oil. People love the olive oil. A little basil, just tear it into the sauce. Um, I'm gonna whack this in the oven for about probably half an hour, 20 minutes at 180. The mozzarella is gonna just kind of ooze over those incredible balls. They'll go a little bit golden and they'll just finish cooking in the middle in that beautiful sauce. Let's go and check out these amazing meatballs. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful, an absolute classic. You can't knock it. Juicy, big, fat, tasty balls. Really nice. Just grab some of this sauce. We'll toss that with the pasta and that's gonna be so tasty. Look at that. Hot and steamy, comfort food. Does the recipe stand up to time, 20 years? Definitely, you know, definitely. People still talk about this recipe now. Come on, let's get a ball on there. Yes. 
Just a little stroke of Parmesan cheese that will melt straight away. Come on. Oh, look at that. Really, really nice. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. I'm really pleased with that. One more question before I go. Is it pucker? It is definitely pucker. Definitely pucker. Cheers. See you in 20 years, right? <laughs> I definitely won't be able to get this shirt on then.